In this video, I'm gonna be testing out the Ahuhu Honolulu markers, which is a very cool name. I haven't even opened these yet, and I'm gonna give you my honest opinions on them so that you can make an informed decision about whether they're right for you. So with that said, let's just get straight to the video. So let's open these up together. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, there's quite a few pinks and purples by the looks of it. Hmm. So apparently we have a broad tip, like so. So the broad tip that you normally get with pretty much any other marker. But what we also have, and something that I was like really keen to look at, is this brush tip. Now this is, oh, if it was going to rigid, oh, it's kind of juicy though. Look at that, all over my fingers. But yeah, this is basically only found in like Copics and even really like really expensive markers as well. I mean, Copics are the most expensive, but I'm really looking forward to using these. So let's get going. So just quickly before I go and test these uh, who's on an actual project, I just want to compare it to one of the other brush tip markers that I have, the Copic Sketch. And to give you some context in terms of pricing, these are who's coming at around 80p per marker, which if you've ever shopped for markers before, isn't actually all that bad. However, you come over to the Copic Sketch, and if you've ever seen Copic Sketches, you'll know that they come in at around £8 per marker. So 10 times the price of one of these Ahuhus. So you can get 10 of these for the price of one of these, which is just insane. So let's see if they're actually 10 times better. So starting off with the Copic, we're gonna come here, you've got the nice brush tip. And what you can do is you can press really nice and lightly, and then you can increase the pressure to get some thicker lines and ease it off again to get some nice thinner ones. So just like so. Now, if you come over to the um, Ahuhu marker, again, we have that nice brush tip and I'm pretty sure they're the same size. And then again, we've got that really nice thin line and then you can increase the pressure and get that thicker line and ease off again and you get that thinner line. And if I'm being honest, I did initially say that the um, brush tip here was quite rigid, but that's actually really soft and pretty much, I can barely tell the difference between this ATP marker and the eight pound Copic, which is kind of crazy. So if I'm being honest, don't get the Copics, get the Ahuhus. So in order to test out these markers, I'm going to be coloring in this green Lamborghini because on closer inspection, the pack of 48 that I have has quite a few shades of green. So I really want to try and use the most amount of markers possible. And also if you would like to learn how to sketch like this, I have a free course linked down in the description. But with that said, let's just get straight into testing them. Now I started by coming in with a black marker and outlining where the darkest shadows needed to go. And it was at this point that I realized that these are some pretty good markers. You see, because obviously you've got that brush tip, it's really nice and sharp. So you're able to go into all those really small detailed areas and keep everything really nice and sharp and precise. And something else that's really cool is normally with cheaper markers, you can expect the ink to bleed a bit. However, with these ones, despite being relatively cheap, the ink does not bleed. So where you put the ink down is where it will stay. Now, something that I missed when I was doing the unboxing of these markers was the fact that they also come with some bonuses just like a color swatch sheet. Now I didn't actually fill this in because what I like to do is before I go into the drawing I do like a little swatch on the top and then go into the drawing so I know exactly what color I have in my hand before going into the drawing because a lot of the time with alcohol markers the color on the top isn't necessarily the color that you'll get and this isn't something like a problem with Ahuhus it's just a problem overall with any marker brand you get even the more expensive ones like Copic and Windsor and Newton. So the next bonus this marker set comes with is an anti-bleed sheet and you can basically put this behind the piece of paper that you're working on so that the ink will not bleed through that page onto the page underneath. And finally you get a little booklet that tells you a bit about the Ohuhu brand and also a lot about the Honolulu markers. Just like the fact that they have the widest color range out of any other marker brand so over 400 different colors and what's crazy is the fact that these um, Ohuhu markers blend together amazingly well. So you can see here on the green panels on the car that all the greens they just smush together so smoothly to create these seamless greens radiance and because you also have that brush tip it deposits so much ink down onto the page that it all just smushes together and it is all just really satisfying to work with and something else that I learned is that apparently when the tip gets frayed you can just pull it out turn it around and then you pretty much have a brand new marker so I'm actually curious to see if this is true so here we've got the brush tip and I reckon what do you do just pull this out <laughs> This doesn't feel good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my goodness. There's another point. So you just spin it around, stick it back in. Oh my God, ink's going everywhere. And boom, look at that. That is pretty cool. So as you can probably guess, I would highly recommend these markers. Like I'm now gonna be using these from now on on all of my work. So whether you want to do comic books, cartoons, or realistic marker bases like what I use them for, where I do colored pencils on top, the Ahuhu Honolulus are for you. So if you have enjoyed this video and you would like to see me finish off this card drawing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you check out this video right here. Here you go, click it. It's pretty good. <laughs>